All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the package. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the L5P Duramax. But this is a pretty nice piece, man. And I'm really excited to remove the stock trans cooler and compare the two parts, because look how beefy that is. Maybe I'll take a tape measure and figure this out. Very next step, we're gonna go ahead and remove all these little body clips that hold down this top engine shroud, because we're gonna go ahead and get behind there so we can remove the front grill. So once you've removed the 12 body clips, go ahead and place these somewhere. Don't lose them. After that, we're gonna go ahead and just simply pick this up and remove it out of the way. After we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the front grill on the truck. Basically everything below is gonna be pop clips. The only issue about that is if you try to pull back, you're probably gonna break something or rip something. So you wanna go ahead and take some needle nose pliers, get behind there and go ahead and just depress the back of those clips and then just pull back on each corner slowly until they release. Um, I did use a flathead screwdriver as well to get some leverage and I'll show you guys where I depress those little clips. But again, don't pull it back because you are gonna break this off the front core support. You don't wanna do that. And I'm sure these grills are not cheap. So yeah, use a nice long screwdriver, something like that. Nice and wide flathead. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about because you can get hung up on this. And it's a very valuable tip. Like I said, you can push down like that as you're pulling back on the grill. And or if you guys have some needle nose pliers or some hose clamps with an angle, you guys can also push these prongs in and pull out. So that's how you do it. So now that we've removed the grill, the transmission cooler is actually right behind the bumper. Unfortunately, the only way to get this thing out is to remove the bumper. And the only reason why we have to remove the bumper, unfortunately, is because of this cross member. You're not gonna be able to disconnect the lines. Well, you're gonna be able to disconnect the lines but uh, you're not gonna be able to slide this out of place and then put that wider one inside. So unfortunately, we don't have a way of removing this cross member from the front core support. So once you remove the grill, you're gonna go ahead and remove four 18 millimeter bolts that hold the top of this bumper and then get up underneath the truck on each corner. And you're gonna notice that you're gonna remove one 15 millimeter bolt underneath the truck. So let's go ahead and remove these now. Set it back a little bit. That should be plenty. As long as this thing doesn't fall on me. Get you a little pick tool. We're gonna go ahead and remove these little dust caps. And then after that, you're gonna have a retaining clip that you're gonna have to pop up. Now the good news is I think that they already have the Retaining clips already installed in the PPE trans cooler, so I think we can discard those. Let's go with a 32 mil. I should do it. There we go. Just enough to loosen it. And here we go. All right, so they're loose. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the top of this trans cooler bracket in place. So here's your stock cooler right here. Look at that, look how much thicker that is. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious, let's just do this. So roughly 21 inches wide is what we're going on there. And from end to end, we're 20 inches wide. As far as width or uh, thickness, we're about two and a quarter. And we are an inch and a half. I have a hard time throwing away good parts when I remove them from vehicles, so I'm probably gonna keep this thing. Who knows, maybe a buddy down the line might need one. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and install our brackets and slide this thing in. Not bad. <laughs> that slid in pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse the top bolts. Just place them in, go ahead and line everything up. Obviously, you're gonna go ahead and push these lines back in. Once you hear a click, you're good. And go ahead and take these dust caps and just place them right over there. So I have these set in just for now. The lower bolts I did all the way tighten. 
Um, these right here are actually gonna connect to the lower shroud of the bottom part of the trans cooler. Let me show you really quick. So that's how the lower brackets are installed. They're just basically hooked in these little holes there in the core support. Uh, just go ahead and tighten down those bolts. Those bolt holes underneath the PPE trans cooler, you're gonna go ahead and use those. And just basically just take this plastic piece uh, of course, just cut this zip tie and then use those bolts from the outside to simply go ahead and just secure these in place. So I have everything installed. Top bolts are tight. Everything's tight. Won't go anywhere. Not to mention it fits really nicely in there. So let's go ahead and get this bumper back on. So installation complete. There it is, looks pretty sweet. So you guys use your recommended transmission fluid. I'm gonna use the Amsoil ATF. I use it on all my Duramaxes, works perfect. And I'm not exactly sure what the quartz are on this, honestly, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole quart since the thing is dry. And we're gonna go ahead and drive it around, get it up to transmission temp, check, refill, make sure everything's good. 